Hey there, fellow creators. Ever poured your heart and soul into those intricate details for your model or trim sheet, only to be met with blurry, disappointing results after baking? Trust me, you're not alone. Like many of you, I've dived deep into countless tutorials, courses, and forums trying to uncover the magic formula. I've studied texel density, even religiously adhered to the 1024 pixels per meter rule. And yet, sometimes those results still less than stellar. First off, breathe. I've got a reality check that might just soothe your frustrations. Players, those individuals enjoying your hard work, aren't likely to zoom in to those minute details. Think about it. Those painstakingly crafted bolts and screws, smaller than one centimeter? Even with an impressive texel density, they'll only occupy a mere five to 10 pixels on your texture. So expecting ultra sharpness is setting ourselves up for disappointment. Let's do a visual comparison, shall we? First, consider a player's view from a standard first-person camera. See how those details translate? Now, let's shift to a third-person camera perspective. Notice the difference? Not as catastrophic as our artist's eyes made it out to be, right? It's human nature. Once we're aware of these little imperfections, our brains zero in on them. But here's the thing. In the grander scheme of your game environment, these textures aren't isolated. They mesh with decals, particles, post-processing, and a plethora of other elements that work in tandem to create a mesmerizing visual treat. So, let's cut ourselves some slack. Embrace the bigger picture and keep pouring our passion into creating. The overall experience is so much more than a few blurred pixels. I hope that helps. Be sure to like and subscribe. Happy texturing. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Until next time.